lesson for today is about the whole numbers. So if you have your book, you can take a look at your book about this lesson because uh, it's just the same. Okay, we're just following your book. Now we have here the whole numbers, the body of the whole numbers. What are whole numbers? Are numbers of the integers which are from the zero to positive integers. Okay, it consists of zero and then the natural numbers, just like this. These are the family or the elements of the whole numbers. It starts always with the zero, then one, two, three, four, up to infinity. Okay, so this is like the a zero integer and the positive integers of the integers. Okay, and it says that the zero is no amount. There's no value for zero, but it helps us as the placeholder. You cannot name any other number, like for example, two-digit, three-digit numbers, without the help of the placeholder, which is zero. Okay, now you will know that in the next slides about this. So here, this is how we can, um, so I will move again this, move again here, and move in here. Okay. So this is how we can write the numerals, numerals of numbers like, so you know this already, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. So these are the words, these are in numerals. So again, in the, the numerals are the symbol. The symbol of the number is called the numerals. And remember that for digits, we have 10 digits from 0 to 9 or 1 to 0, okay? So you can combine any digit to form into a number, okay? Now we have also here examples of other like languages, like for Arabic, for Roman, Romans, they're using this uh, kind of writing as their symbol for numbers. And for Thai language, so you know this already, these are your symbols for numbers, okay? Now here, if we have this number, okay? Now remember that for every number, there is a place value that corresponds to every digit. Now remember that for one number, there would be one digit, two digits, three digit, four digit, etc. Just like this. This is one number, right? This is one number. And how many digits are in this number? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven digits that you combine together to form this number. Okay, how we can call this number? So we have here the place value that will help us to read this number. Here, uh, the first one is this number. And uh, going to the right side, we have two. That is the ones place. Followed by tens place, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions and etc. Many more names. Okay? So if we're going to read for nine here, that is million already. Nine million. For four, the place is hundred thousand. So you can read that as four hundred thousands. Okay? For seven, that is about the ten thousand only. So we can read that as seventy thousand. And this one is thousands only. We have three thousand. For 6, we have 600. For 10, we have 0. And 2 is 1. So, if without 0, you cannot read this as 600. Okay? If we write only 6 and 2, that is 62 only, not 100. Okay? That is why 0 is a placeholder. Because we put 0 on the 10th place to make 6 as the 100th place. So we put 6 to be the hundreds place because of 0. Okay. So um, you can also write the this number into like this. If you write this in staggered form, like the 9, nine million, this one, this is 
400,000. This one is 70,000. This one is 3,000. This one is 600. And we have here zero. And the last one is two. If you add this together, this is in staggered form, itemized form, you will get 9,473,602. Okay, so here, this is also the place value, the same as what we have uh, in the previous slide. So millions, how many zero for millions? We have six zeros. For hundred thousands, we have five zeros. Ten thousand four, thousand three, hundred two, tens two, and ones. Yes, that in ham. Okay, now here we have activity. Okay, this one first. So before we go to our activity, we have here first how to read the numbers. Okay, like 10. 10. So it consists of two digits, right? One and zero. That is two digit number. 11. Two digit also. One and one. That's 11. 12. 12. Two digit. One and two. 13. 13. Two digit. One and three. We have 378. We have three digit one, two, three. It's three, seven, and eight. For well, the next one, 1,642. That is four digit. We have one, six, four, and two. We have here 40,569. That's five digit. We have here 245,870. And the last one, we have 1,963,798. This one. Now again, to read the number, okay, like here in the last part, you will see that after the million and the hundred space, you will add first end, then followed by the thousand. Okay, 10,000, 63,000. This is 10,000. Then you're going to add again before you read the tens. Okay? Before you read the tens, then you will add first and. Did you understand it? Okay. Now we have your activity. That's one. This one is? Yes, correct. 23. Okay? 23. So this is a two-digit number. Okay. Next we have number two. What is that? How do you read that? Okay, 151. Okay, that's a three-digit number, one, five, and one. Next, we have, how do you read that one? That is 654,081. Okay, because as I've said, you will read first 600, but after that, before you read the 10,000 place, this one, 10,000 place for this five, you will say and, and 54,081. So we have there, and 81. 654,081. And this is what? Six digit number. Okay, we have one, two, three, Four, five, six. The next one, what is that? How do you read? Okay, that is 933. That is the jet number. Next, we have, how do you read that one? Okay, that is 4,279. 4, that is four digit number. Next, we have, how do you read that one? Okay, that is 2,478,306. So 2,478,306. Okay, that is a seven-digit number. But the last one we have, how do you, how do you read that one? That is, okay, that is 9,430, okay, 9,430, okay, 
question. So again, you can read any number, practice reading at home so that will, you will be enhanced on how to read other numbers in English words. Okay, so you will also practice how to read this kind of numbers in English. Because I know that like here in the school this morning, um, some of your friends cannot read properly uh, the numbers in English. Okay, so I hope that you will practice at home. And when you come back, I will ask you again about naming uh, or reading some old numbers. Okay, now we continue. We have here about number line. So whole number can be also presented in number line, just like integers. But you will see here, we start with zero. The arrow doesn't continue here. We don't have the arrow here because the, num the, the whole number start with zero only and going to the positive side, going only here. It doesn't go this way to the left side, okay? It always go to the right side from zero to 10. So you will see here, this is the whole number, but with 1 to the infinity, that is the natural numbers. So we have here again one activity only. So we, done, we have done this before. So we start with 0. The next is 5. Then followed by 20. Then 25. Then 35. And 40. Okay, very good. So I hope that you understand our lesson. Okay, uh, about the whole numbers. So we have here activity. That's one. Uh, you will just copy this exercise. Uh, no, no, not copy. Answer this directly into your book. That is.